A presentation by Equality North Carolina, a statewide group dedicated to securing equal rights and justice for lesbian, gay, bisexual, and transgender people. When you have no money to live off of because you're fired, because you're gay, it, it's really hard. It's discrimination. You can never take it back. You wanted to get rid of me for who I am. They're supposed to judge you on your character, your background, and your resume, and education. I feel like that's all pushed aside for me. You know, I've gone through college, and I know six different languages, and there are so many things that I can do and I can apply for, but I just feel like I'm not taken seriously. And I feel like they judge me based on the appearance that I'm a transsexual and they know it versus that I'm just a normal person looking for a job to work like someone else and pay my bills. How would you feel if, you know, you were fired and there's not, like, nothing you can do about it just because they don't have to give you a reason? And if you can't prove your case and something else, then you're just jobless. You're jobless. Horrible. Horrible, the feeling of what it felt like that I wasn't good enough to work for them. I worked at a factory for two years, and every year they would have a Christmas party, and it would be for all the employees to come. My superiors told me that I wasn't supposed to go to this party and that if I showed up, that I wouldn't be able to keep my job. Then there was another incident where I worked as a cashier in a store. And my manager at the time knew I was transgender, but the regional manager did not know that I was transgender. And he came in and he told me that I was not to be wearing makeup and that I was to go home and I was to take off my bra. Granted, I couldn't go home and take off my bra because it had been kind of hard to hide my chest. So, I mean, I, I willingly quit. When I got to this job here, Clean the elevator. I would clean the elevator and spray it down and mop it out every day, making sure there weren't no pieces of paper. This right here would definitely not be here. I didn't choose to leave. I just chose to do my job and perform the best I could. But when I got terminated, I said, enough is enough. This is the third time. I knew it was the discrimination that caused this whole issue. The specific comment that was made to me was you shouldn't be seen around the front desk anymore and that you're not allowed to give tours to any other residents that are going to be leasing here anymore because you're transgender and that's the first thing that people will see and they don't need to see that. People look at transgender people as different but it doesn't matter what they look at us as. We are still people. We work just as hard. So why should we be looked at as any different than a normal person? If we can just stop the hate, stop the judgment, don't look at that person as a male. Don't look at that woman as a female. Just look at them as an equal, as a person. To learn more or join our campaign to end discrimination based on sexual orientation and gender identity in North Carolina, visit us online at www.equalitync.org.